Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at something that I've been meaning to do for a while and I just got around to it. And um, I'm, I 3D printed a bass clarinet mouthpiece and ligature and we'll take a closer look at it, um, how you can get the files and such in a minute. So to start with, um, one of my friends was kind enough to let me borrow his entire instrument and his mouthpiece. Um, to model this off of because you know obviously you need to take a lot of measurements and I was just gonna look on the internet and find one but I could not find anything not on Thingiverse nothing um, so I'm pretty much was forced to design one myself so uh, I'll start I, I went off of his mouthpiece entirely um, and it's not exact it's not perfect but it's close enough um, so I'll also go over some instructions on if you do end up downloading this um, and you're going to try to use it, how to f the finishing steps and what to do with that. So as you can see profile wise, they are pretty close other than when I was modeling this, I messed up here a bit and this is too far up. You can kind of see again if I, if I level them out, no, actually no, you're not going to be able to see it very well on camera, but if I line them up, should I do it this way? line them up you can kind of see the back one is just a wee bit taller so um, I did mess up on that although that's not that's not a critical thing um, as far as sound goes the important parts as far as sound goes is going to be the how much relief there is um, between the reed and the actual mouthpiece so I grab an actual reed here and you can see how how there's a gap up there in between there I'll take a screwdriver to point at there's a gap right here. How large that gap is and how far down it goes is extremely important. And I'll explain when I get to the finishing steps later um, how to finish this and make it actually sound good. Because when you download the file and print it out, it will not, you can't, you're not going to be able to make a sound out of it at all because I intentionally left too much material there. You can see how I've almost exactly copied this. And you can see how there's that distance. So. Um, you're basically the whole the whole point, um, and I'll explain this more when I get into it later on for the finishing steps. Um, is you need to be it's basically trial and error. Um, and another important thing when it comes to sound, and I will play this later on, even though I really suck at playing. Um, I'll show you that it does indeed make a noise. So if I grab do um, you have a flashlight? I'll grab a flashlight here and take a look inside. You can see. They're not identical, but they're pretty close, and the taper inside is good enough. And you'll also notice I have some hot glue there, and that is not the model's fault. That is my fault, and it's not the printer's fault either. It's my fault because when I started, the filament got caught, and so it left a really weak part here, so this bottom chunk broke off, um, which was kind of useful, actually, because when I printed the Ninja Flex cork because you can see on the real one there's a cork so that when you put it into the neck you know it fits nice and tight and makes a seal so I made the cork out of ninja flex um, and that'll be included in the files as well same thing with the ligature um, and so uh, this this fits nice and tightly so when you put it on if yours didn't break um, or you didn't cut it or whatever uh, I would it's gonna be very difficult to slip this ninja flex bit over it. Uh, I glued mine in place ultimately so uh, it's not moving anymore but what you can do I did taper this end part you could probably file that down put a lot of force on it this bit is never gonna come out if you do it right um, and then of course this makes a very tight seal up into the neck as you can see um, it's definitely it's a very tight seal and I feel like that's probably gonna last quite a while and of course if it doesn't for whatever reason you could just well, print another one even though Ninja Flex is kind of expensive and you do need it now uh, alternatively if you don't have Ninja Flex you could just take electrical tape and wrap it around there not such a great solution but it will work in a pinch I suppose I mean whatever the case is you're still gonna save yourself money because I believe these are about 120 130 maybe even $150, I'm not quite sure. So if you can print this for a couple bucks, including the cost of hardware, that's pretty good. So uh, move on to the ligature here. Again, I modeled it off of the ligature that came 
but I assume it came with it, he didn't say. Um, and I also, I'll tell you about the uh, hardware and stuff that I, I used as well. So, as far as this goes, there are two metal rods, and I'll take mine apart real quick here. There's two metal rods and a screw that goes through them, so I'll remove this. Hope this video doesn't get too long. So yeah, I, as you can see, I have these two metal bits, and these are in, aren't exactly what's in here. Um, I didn't machine these out of some rod stock, although you could probably print these and it'd be all right. But I didn't like the idea. So I have, as you can see, I have the slot cut in one, and that is for the um, screw. And I believe this is a this is a metric screw. I'm not quite sure the size right off the top of my head and um, this notch here is so that the head of the screw which I've ground down doesn't doesn't twist so when you're tightening the ligature down this screw doesn't doesn't twist at all I would recommend you actually go out and buy a ligature uh, rather than trying to make one but um, I, the homemade one works fine but it's, it's just a lot easier if you don't have the tools to machine these down um, so anyway, so basically as you can see this fits on the other side and then the wing nut screws on. And as you saw earlier, it's really it's really pretty simple. Uh, going based on this one, so uh, this goes into this side right here. The bolt goes through or screw. Get in there. And that that won't turn anymore. And then this side, this bit goes on this side, and the screw just simply goes right in there, like so. I can get it in. It's, it's, sorry, it has a tendency of getting caught on the uh, Ninja Flex. Probably could have made this a lot bigger. And then, of course, the uh, little wing nut just threads on like that. And that's obviously used to tighten up the ligature when you put a reed on. So, um, I will go ahead, I suppose, and put this on the instrument and play it in just a minute um, but uh, one quick note when you're finishing this you're gonna want to get a flat file and you're also gonna want to get sandpaper you want to make this as smooth as possible and um, basically what you're aiming to do is take off material here at the tip put your clean it off put your reed back on put your ligature on tighten it all up try to play and then just keep taking off material until you get to the point where it's playable all right, now I'm going to go ahead and put everything on the instrument, and uh, I'll show you how it sounds. Keep in mind, I'm very bad. All right, so I've um, gone ahead and put it on the instrument. I can get that in the frame, and um, it looks basically just like a regular mouthpiece. Uh, I have a good feeling that not too many people are going to believe this is 3D printed. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. I'm, like I said, I'm very bad, so bear with me. So it sounds like a clarinet. It works. Not much more to say other than the sound quality has a lot to do with the finishing process. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, you're looking to take material off of a very specific area here, and um, it may take you a few tries, so just be patient with it, and whatever the case may be, it's still going to be saving you a lot of money, even if you have to reprint it a couple times. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. The link will be in the description where you can download this and print it out yourself, along with the full Thingiverse page and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a very nice day.